I wanted to put together a little video kind of uh, give you the history of this car. This is a car that was uh, a dear friend of mine's friend who uh, purchased this car when it's new. It's a 61 Morgan and um, it's been parked for well over a decade, maybe even two decades. Um, it means a lot to the family. A lot of mechanics have worked on it in the past. I'm not a mechanic. I'm a mechanical engineer. Um, but my friend asked if I could come and look at it. You know how most things go. You come look, you figure a little carburetor work, and everything will be fine. Well, um, the carbs were a bit of a disaster. The person, mechanics that have worked on it in the past, there was a lot of mitch, mitch, mismatched parts. And uh, the condition of actually the carburetors don't seem to match the rest of the engine. So kind of leads me to believe that previous mechanics might have swapped a nice set of carburetors with these. Which uh, after a lot of work I turned into good carburetors. As you can see I did a lot of plumbing work. And I added a heat shield. Made a heat shield for it. Um, drain tubes. I'm not really a fan of a lot of rubber tubing. I have it where we need it for flex but I like a lot of as much tubing as possible uh, so anyway there's a lot of work in these carburetors there's a lot of custom pieces in these carburetors also uh, down under here there's a little fitting I had to make that was missing and uh, all these little uh, pivot points I had to either bore oversides and make bushings because they were just completely worn out and uh, again all new you know basic the rest is just basic gaskets that they needed and a lot of fitting the springs were completely wrong uh, one was way overly stretched but uh, anyway replaced the, the bits that needed replacing fitting uh, bushings bushings in the throttle shafts were worn out those had to be remachined re and luckily I have a machine shop at hand so uh, I could do that at home um, you know, I routed again a nice piece of tubing and I'm a big fan advocate of rigid lines where necessary because over time you know rubber does what rubber does um, so we've done that cooling system I upgraded to a, a beautiful aluminum radiator the original had been patched on patched on patched and I could have repaired it just the amount of labor it would have taken to try to rectify other people's sins would have been I think a lot more than the price of just a new radiator and uh, again there's some more bent tubing and I put a new uh, re reworked the distributor put a new vacuum advance that was bad it wasn't even connected As a matter of fact the port on the carburetor was wide open and that's why I had to make that little nipple for this. Um, I switched over to electronic ignition. Uh, someone in the past had deleted the original um, pump. So they had put one of these god awful pumps. I never liked these on an SU. These uh, Mr. Gasket. Because these are five pounds plus and you really need a little lower than that for an SU to keep it from flooding. I'll, I'll show you here in a little bit what I put in. I rebuilt the brake system. Uh, it's a combination of new components like the master, new rear wheel cylinders. I completely rebuilt the front uh, calipers with stainless steel pistons. Um, just a lot of little things. Just trying to make this car safe and reliable for the long run. Um, here in the back you can see the pump that I installed. It's that German brand. I, I forget what it is, but it's a. I, I like them. It's an SU style, but um, they're electronic instead of having points. Very reliable. I have them on a lot of my MGs. And uh, the, this is truly a pump you can just forget about. And uh, I'll, I'll, I'll add in the link uh, the make of it. They're really easy to come by. Um, but there's still little issues. Uh, I've got to get some of the gauges to work. Um, I'm still haven't got it running enough to see if it's going to need a cooling fan, electric cooling fan, along with the mechanical. It probably won't, but um, we'll find that out soon enough. Um, 
anyway, just wanted to make a short little video to kind of show you more about this car. And uh, really neat car. Uh, there's a lot of custom work that was done to this car in the past. You know, there's an extensive roll cage that was built by a NASCAR shop, of all things, back in the 70s. That goes through the whole chassis for mainly safety, not really for racing. They they wanted their grandchildren to be safe when driving this car and and uh, they added a whale of a roll cage to this car <laughs> so um, anyway I just want to make a quick little video and I hope you enjoy it <laughs> 